and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this beautiful look. I want you to go ahead and smash that like button and go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more beauty and entertainment content. If you see my last lip thing in a video, do not come for me in the comment section. I know it's about time for me to get my hair done, for real, for real. I was just trying to um, try something new. But stay tuned for the rest of this video if you guys want to see how I got this amazing look. Okay guys, so right into it, I'm using my M421 brush by Morphe and I'm going to use my P. Louise Secret Center palette and I'm going to start with the color Addicted. Now this is a dark purple but it's not showing up like that and I'm using my base as the rumor 6. I'm just going to apply the base all over both of my lids. Now I will include this in this tutorial but in future tutorials I may not always use this but I do use the rumor six all the time Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my M513 brush by Morphe, and I'm going to use the color next to Addicted. It's the pink color, um, and I kind of forgot the name of it, but it is listed in the palette. So I'm going to go over that by just blending the two colors together really, really good. And then after that, I'm going to use a neon pigment that I'll show, and it's going to go like kind of like a highlight to complement the pink, but I'll show you guys what I mean by the pink color. So this is a neon color that I was referring to. I got mine from Rainbow Art Cosmetics, and I'm gonna use my M562 brush by Morphe to apply this on top of the other coat of pink. Now you can use any type of neon pigment that you want from any company. This is just the company that I decided to buy the pigment from and they are black owned. So after clearing the section for my cut crease, I'm going in with Vivid Violet by P. Louise. And I highly recommend these bases. If you guys have not purchased a base from P. Louise, I highly recommend that you try it. And then on top of the base, I am going to pair it with um, a purple color to go on top and some glitters. And I'm going to show you guys the glitters that I'm using today. My glitters are by Flutter by Row. I'm going to use a pink glitter color. And this is the pink glitter color. <laughs> and then I'm going to be mixing that with this purple glitter color. I use both the NYX glitter primer and duo lash glue to um, add the glitter on top of the pigments. But you guys can use either one or if you find anything better, please let me know because I am looking for new products to try.
Now lately I have been obsessed with Juvia's Place, but they ran out of my Abujan, so I'm using Zambia as the lighter color, and then it's a Guinea, I think, for the darker color. So um, the lighter color that I'm applying now is Zambia, and then the darker color is Guinea. I am using the concealers by Juvia's Place as well. It's going to be in the color 10, which is the lighter color, and in the color 4, which is the darker color. I'm not going to show the actual containers for the concealer because I have a separate tutorial for my highlighting and contouring. It's a little bit more in depth. If you guys want to watch that video, just check out my highlight and contour video. I will link it in the description down below. Um, just so you can get a better understanding of exactly what I'm doing because I know it looks like a lot right now. Blending everything out with this wet beauty blender, I am going to go ahead and set. Um, while I'm setting, normally I use two different setting powders, but today I'm just going to use the one. And this one that I'm using today is going to be the Morphe Banana Powder. I really love this. So, um, as you guys can see, I'm a Morphe fan. Um, and I really love the consistency of their products. So, I just had to try this out but um i did want to try the juvia's place one if you guys have tried the juvia's place one and recommend it please let me know and i'll go ahead and get that but i might just um go ahead and get it anyways just because of how much i love juvia's place as well
on to my infamous glow kit by Anastasia. As you guys can see in the next clip, I have hit pan on hot sand, but that's the color that I'm using. It's funny that they rhyme, but I didn't do that intentionally. It just happened to rhyme. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and, um, like I said before, subscribe to my channel and like this video. If you guys want to see more videos or have any suggestions for me, go ahead and leave a comment and add me on all my other social media so you can follow me when I don't post on YouTube or when I don't post the entire tutorial, you might be able to see many tutorials on my Instagram or um, Snapchat or things like that. So go ahead and follow me on my other social medias. But if you guys want to re go ahead and recreate this look, don't forget to tag me in your pictures. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.